Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how you can captivate men and elicit their desire, their presence, their pursuit without the need to be calculating. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, successful women, how you can create the relationship that you crave and attract the man that you want without the need for gimmicks manipulation and as a result of being your highest self, which incidentally is the topic for today, how you can captivate men without being calculating, how you can captivate men and elicit desire, passion, uh, magnetism without doing things that are not really you. Now. We live in a society that has taught us from a very early age that in order for you to be stand out and for you to captivate the attention of a man and even create a devotional commitment that you have to be younger. It's all about youth. Or you have to be thinner. Or you have to be sexier uh, and show more skin. Or you have to be mysterious in some way or elusive or cold or distant or play games. And I can tell you that being magnetic and desired sustainably isn't that at all. Being magnetic and desired sustainably really steps, comes down to two words, life force. How much life force flows through you? <laughs> How much light flows unrestricted through your body and into the world? Uh, have you ever met a person who isn't flashy, isn't wearing weird clothes, isn't loud, isn't boasting about their achievements. This could be a man or a woman, but when they walk into the room, there's a level of presence that they command without doing anything that punches people in the heart and makes them question who this person is and creates a level of magnetism where people are drawn to this human being. This is something that both men and women do. It's a life force, right? Think about it in terms, I'll give you an example. Uh, earlier in my life, uh, my brother was doing Tai Chi. And Tai Chi is one of those exercises that allows human beings to harness the deepest energy of Chi energy that flows through your entire body and use it and express it and live it. And this uh, teacher who was around 80 years of age, who was a short man and who was very thin, uh, Chinese man would go into campus, this was in university, and students, football students, basketball students would come and he would do some, sometimes he would, he, when he was showing, demonstrating the power of chi, he would get those people to try to topple him, throw him to the ground. And it was incredibly mind blowing to see that someone who approached them with a lot of energy, a lot of just, a, a lot of strength, physical strength, would not be able to not just do anything to him, but would actually be thrown to the ground with very light touch because there was so much energy flowing through this man into this other human being. That's what life force is. And if you want to make it less Tai Chi, like you just think about it. It's how you walk. It's how you move. It's how you flow. It's how you smile. It's how you breathe. So if you want to focus on something, that can help you to, instead of trying like a hamster in a wheel, do all the things that people are telling you to do that are not getting the results you want. And you want to turn the tables around and create from being versus doing a deeper degree of presence and a deeper degree of magnetism towards men. Think about it in a few different ways. These are the areas you can focus on if you want to increase this in your heart and in your being. First one is movement. How is the movement in your life? How much movement do you do? This includes exercise, dancing, uh, flowing with energy, yoga, all of it. How much of it is in your life right now? Second is breathing. How conscious, how powerful, how deep is your breath? Because breath is the force of life and the force of life permeates through you. How present are you in life? How much capacity do you have to stand in front of a man and instead of thinking of the next question, instead of maybe being afraid of what's going on or wondering what he's thinking of you, just hold space for that very specific moment where you can just witness what's taking place. Um, 
it's what you do. What do you do on a daily basis? Are you constantly doing things you hate? Are you doing things that make your heart sink? Uh, what are you accepting from others? Are you accepting great treatment and praise or do you usually take some level of abuse that's diminishing your light? How much meaning is in your life? How much purpose and meaning do you have in the things you do? How much vision do you have for what's out there? How much do you feel you're growing and contributing to a greater good, not just to yourself? All those things create this experience of your heart that allow you to, without saying anything, without wearing a tight skirt, without trying to use the perfect phrase or the right text message, command the attention, the desire, the heart, the devotion of an incredible man. So I want to leave you with a thought. And the thought is, it's a question. How would your life be if you could attract more of what you want in a relationship and in devotion from a man through being your highest and most evolved self versus doing all the things you've been taught you have to do that are not even you. And if the answer is something like, wow, it'd be amazing, then I'm going to invite you to do one thing. At the end of the description, uh, on the first line of the description of this video, I created a class that's gonna guide you through some principles that can help you create the kind of relationship you want. It takes these principles much more in depth and with more specificity. And all you have to do is click on the first link in the description, enter your name and email, and go to take that training right away for free. Uh, if you like this video, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. If you're watching this, if you're a conscious woman who's watching this, and this resonates with you as truth, and you know there's a lot more to do to create this being, there's a lot more to step into, there's rituals, there's a process that is not as simple as it sounds, and you want some hand-holding and help to be this kind of woman, and you want to find out if I can help you, then the second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to see if you and I can work together to create this result you want in a lot less time and with a lot less pain than before. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. <laughs>